Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you so very much for joining me today. If you've been here before, thank you. If you're new, oh my thank you. I appreciate you both. All of y'all. Everybody. So very much. So, okay. Today, squeal. Um, I have an exciting one to share with you guys. My, um, wonderful mom sent me some happy mail. We can still call this one happy mail, right? And I got really good happy mail just the other day. Just saying. Still like giddy. Um, anywho. Okay, so, um, we had been, her and I had been discussing the big twist yarn and all of those things. Um, she watches me, so hello, Mama. Um, I love you very much. Um, so yeah, she watches me, and um, we've been talking about how I didn't have, like, I was running out of low on black and things, and so she went the other day and got me some black yarn. Then I got the Joanne haul the other day, the haul, like, seven skeins. It's a haul, you know, that could almost make something. And anyway, um, so yeah, so then she like, you know, got the 20% off coupon. Yarn was still on sale, so she did really, like, there were good deals. And so she's like, well, what other colors, you know, would you need? And what other, anyway, we talked about, we talk yarn. So, um, sorry, I'm dropping things. She's been crocheting again, which I love and it's really neat. <laughs> and so she sent me some things. I'm not sure what she sent me. I'm pretty sure there's some yellow because I've kind of run out of like yellow, yellow. I have like the golds and kind of pale and then this beautiful thing right here. Um, the Craft Smart Neon Yellow. But I'm not really sure what's in here. So it's kind of like a mystery box. I love a good mystery box. I need to get another Mary Max one. I keep saying this, but I really, really do. Those are so much fun. So maybe before very long, I'll splurge and get me a Mary Maxim box. I don't know, but okay. So this is kind of the same thing. I don't know what's in here. Let's discover it together, shall we? It's a big box. Not big, but I mean, it's pretty good size, which is cool because we're moving so I can use the box <laughs> for sure. Oh my goodness. so dang good to me. Okay. Let's see if I can heave this up here. <laughs> Show y'all what I'm seeing. Oh gosh. Don't look at my address. Cool thanks. Check it out. So okay. The box is dirty from my <laughs> dirt road. <laughs> All right, so, oh my goodness, I know what this is right off the bat here on the top. Um, <clears throat> okay. Some mandala cakes. This is the color gnome. I already know this. This is, okay, they're, um, it's a three light. 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 590 yards or 540 meters. It's machine washable and dryable, 100% acrylic. Suggest you use 3.75 or a 5 mil oh, crochet, no, knitting needles or a 5 millimeter crochet hook. That's what it looks like. But more importantly, that's what it looks like. So, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, yay! Okay, so um, I know I have a lot of new folks. So maybe some of you don't know yet because I haven't put out a gnome home video since I've had new folks. I need to do that. Um, around here, <laughs> we have Normville, <clears throat> which is where Norm the gnome lives. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. This is Norm the gnome, right up here. He hides out. He has like a weird, where's Waldo thing. I didn't move him. In the last couple of videos, I keep forgetting to move Norm, like the pink hat. Tis Norm. Um, so he's kind of done this whole like gnome town thing and he like he did it i didn't do it all norm <laughs> so anyway but yeah they had the mandala cakes one of my sweet friends on here told me about the color gnome the colorway gnome 
it's just like rainbow and delightful and so i got two whenever i got my joanne haul the other day all once again seven skeins um and i just got two of them one two three So now I have six of them. I feel a wearable coming on in my future. I don't know about the rest of y'all. I discussed a primrose blanket with it though, and I can make a decent sized primrose stitch blanket. Also, I feel like I can make a really pretty dress or something. Oh my goodness, that's exciting. Okay. Hmm, what to do, what to do. So yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to find the perfect pattern. I saw a girl the other day. I don't remember what it was. If I find that video, I will link it below. I'm pretty sure I, I know I liked it, so I'll look back. Anyway, but she used her Centro machine to make a sweater. They called it a jumper, but to make her a sweater, hers, you know, it's kind of cropped. Mine would not be. Um, <laughs> but... It's like you do four panels and sleeves and make you a sweater. That would be kind of fun. Okay, with those. Hmm. All right, anyway, I'll let you know what I make. Maybe I can make both things now. I have six of them. Okay, so then also, ooh la la. Just ooh la la, just, okay. All pretty and packaged, all about it. Crinkle alert. All right, so two of the color forest green. These are all big twist value. <coughs> um, there are, let's see, 380 yards or six ounces, 347 meters, 170 grams. Um, it's a four weight, suggest you use a five millimeter knitting needle or a five millimeter crochet hook. Once again, I'm telling y'all, you have to listen. You can do whatever you want. Use a two. Use a twelve. What are they gonna say? You know, use whatever kind of knitting needle or hook you want. Anyway, forest green. That one's so pretty. I've been running low on green too. I like how that darker green and bright, bright green, but no really like normal green. So that's perfect. I told her a couple colors. <laughs> I was kind of thinking of. Okay, and there's. Let's see awesome she sent me black <laughs> two skeins of black i know she got there's the holes in it i thought those were fuzzes but they're little so it can breathe you know so there's no moisture in it i i don't know you all know, didn't watch the happy mail for whatever reason i thought the little scent satchel scent satchel that jennifer cinnamon stitches your yarn host for whatever reason i thought she sewed together the little dried silica or whatever like the do not eat things i don't know why so perhaps there's holes in this so that there's no moisture don't worry about me whenever you're ready just go ahead anyway two of the color black i know she got me i think maybe three or four the other day because she found them for like two something at her um store her local Joanne and then she ordered online because she got the coupon and she's just a good mama you know all right oh, I love this one so much the varsity orange it's just it's like Halloween to me I don't it doesn't remind me of anything like college or football I mean it's kind of OSU orange-ish I suppose but it just looks like Halloween I love that color so much so two of those okay set them right here because I'm not setting them on top of the Centro machine so I'm running out of room. All right then two of the varsity green a little bit of the darker green yep that's just a whole two it looks like paper or something anyway okay. <clears throat> she got me three pale yellows That's all. Those are really pretty. I used this the other day in our surprise blanket. 
and I like this color. I think, I don't know. I, okay, I've been thinking of a blanket that looks like kind of the grass and sky and then the kind of like sunshine. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do with those. Um, this one would kind of be, well, that one's probably pretty perfect for the sky, but this one's pretty darn good. Let's see, what color is this one? Ooh. Saraline? I don't know how you can say that. Saraline? Caraline? I don't know. Anyway, this blue. I have not had this one, I don't think. I don't think. That is beautiful. That'll be perfect with the... Okay, I may have to make that one first. Um, let me see. I'll open this one and show you guys. Because I'll open them to put them on the shelf. Sorry for the crinkles. That's really pretty. Oh, there we go. That's it right there. That's so pretty. Alright, that's kind of a good sky blue type color like the grass and this like a pretty baby blanket that's kind of all of the things and okay. then two of the color <laughs> now that's hidden denim blue there you go denim blue. It's very denim. Give me that. I've had this one before. It's very pretty. As you can, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you can't tell. It's not in front of you, I suppose, but it's very pretty. It does look denim. It has little kind of like almost white looking, like not really flex, but you can tell it's kind of denim-ish. You see? That is good. Okay. And then, yay. Varsity Blue. Once again, not to be confused with Varsity Blues, and I don't want your life. Varsity Blue. This is a really good, just blue for lots of things. It's like when you think of like blue, you know, like I was gonna say like red, but it's hidden. <laughs> There's like basically you no know, like primary colors. Blue. So yeah, I like this one a lot. Okay, one more. Very pretty. The color burnt orange. I can see why she sent me this one. This is one of her favorite colors. <laughs> That's also very, very Halloween looking to me. Very fall. Fall is coming up. It's so pretty. <clears throat> so very pretty. Ooh. That's really pretty. And I have a big old box to pack stuff in. That's exciting. So, oh, thank you so much, Mom. <laughs> You're so good to me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what to make with these. Um, I feel like I need a really good something with these. And I have oodles now because there's 590 yards a piece. I could totally make that primrose blanket. Like the primrose stitch in the blanket and just like, be so pretty. Hmm, okay, I don't know. I'm excited though. This little thing's gonna be all full of those. Ooh la la, I'm so excited, okay. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, so thank you very much, Mom. I appreciate that very, very much. But, you know. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's exciting. There are good things in here. I'm just kind of looking around. Getting ideas. Figure out where to put it. I just scooched all of my things up because I didn't have some colors. See, like, this makes no sense in the rainbow. So now I'm gonna have to move them <laughs> again. But that's okay, because I get to put yarn back in the shelves. Yay. Because I've been using a lot of yarn lately. So yay. Thank you guys so very much for watching my Joanne 
mystery box haul, we we'll call it that. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderfully blessed day. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you very soon.